special White House event with President Donald Trump on Monday. This was the first time the First Lady has been seen publicly in almost a month. With more, let's bring in Andrew Oak. He's a First Lady biographer and author of Unusual for Their Time on the Road with America's First Ladies. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again, Marcia. So I'm going to do a little play on the name of your book, Unusual. How unusual is it, Andrew, that the First Lady has not been seen for weeks? In modern times, it's fairly unusual. Uh, with the 24-hour news cycle and social media, uh, we're used to seeing these women in their daily lives on a regular basis. So when one of them does, as Melania Trump has, ducked out of the public eye, we get a little curious, we get a little suspicious. Uh, this comes under the, uh, the after effects and recuperation time of a minor medical procedure, so there's something uh, to that that lends to the explanation, but it is a bit unusual. A bit unusual, and there was no real clear answer from the White House as to where she was, and that, of course, caused uh, the Twitter verse to go crazy, speculating that she left him, she'd had work done, she was uh, just in the back room somewhere not being photographed. Does the First Lady owe the American public an explanation if she's not seen for weeks at a time publicly? Marcia, that, that's an excellent point. We have to keep in mind that these women are not paid, nor are they elected. They married a man who happened to run for president and then win the presidency. I, I don't think growing up in Eastern Europe, Melania uh, had aspirations of being First Lady of the United States, nor could any of these First Ladies as they were growing up and, and being young women, because you can't run for this position and there's no job description. Laura, uh, Laura Bush very uh, effectively said, you know, any First Lady can make this position anything she wants. And I think when Melania Trump is criticized or things like this are pointed out, she tends to just ignore it, put her head down and move on with her work and her daily business, which she stresses does revolve around children. And I've seen every evidence of that to be the truth. So when she ducks out of the public eye, I don't sweat it as much as maybe some people because I don't think she's gone off and done something secretive or something nefarious or strange or odd. She just needs a little time to herself. And that can be expected after a medical procedure, no matter how minor it is. How do you think people in Washington feel about Melania's role as First Lady? Is it too, too early to write the book uh, or at least the chapter on her? No, I, I don't think so. You know, as, as her poll numbers have been increasing, I've been saying, as I did say back in the campaign, you know, the more we see of this woman, the more we like her. And this isn't terribly unusual for First Ladies. We like them better than their husbands. They poll higher. They're more uh, accessible. They're more like us, we feel. We guide our daily lives more by what they do as far as how we raise our children, how we dress, styles, places we go, things like that. But Definitely, the more that this First Lady embraces her role as First Lady, the more we like her. And, and that doesn't surprise me, Terry. Andrew Oak. He's a First Lady biographer and author of the book Unusual for Their Time on the Road with America's First Ladies. Andrew, great to chat with you. Always good to be with you.